guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Hey guys, what's up? I love you. Oh my God. I just first off want to say thank you so much for your, all your comments and your likes and your support. Just, wow. I, my heart chakra just exploded open, you know, um, after the full moon reading. Um, and I realized, yeah, I'm not alone. And, you know, when things get rough, you guys are there to support me and, uh, help me back up on my feet and just know that I love you guys so much so much Okay, so I'm not gonna cry again. Um, so this is going to be a twin flame reading for uh, February the 4th until the 11th, so I'm gonna go back to doing The weekly readings instead of every 11 days. I, I miss doing them myself. So okay, so I'm shuffling my deck So I guess we're gonna use that uh, Let's use that for the center cards, for the union energy. I'm just doing it very randomly here. All right, so what else? Um, I almost feel like I want to do a little bit of reading. So let's pull out the call at Baron Reed. So I'm going to pull, yeah, let's use this deck for the final outcome. Okay. And we'll also use, so that was Wisdom of the Oracle. This is uh, Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed Why aren't you staying up? Okay, so both, that was the final outcome, so let's, um, let's, let's use the Call It Baron Reed for the present moment. Alright, let's get that book. Let's see what else. Okay, so... Uh, Fairy by Lenormand, we'll use that for the near future. Okay. And what else? Uh, oh, Osho Zen. I haven't used this for a long time. And one from the bottom of the deck. Very good. We got our cards. Okay. So what else? So I got two decks here. Um, this is my original deck that has, you know, the painted cards on it. So let me give that a quick shuffle. We'll pull three per positions. So this is going to be an extended reading. deck here. I've already shuffled them pretty good before coming on camera. All right, so we got the Osho, we got all these books that we're going to read. Okay, so are they going to be in the way if I put them there? Okay, so let's begin. Um, let's make sure everything's on camera here. have to just move this over a little bit okay here we go so beginning with the feminine past position Wow eight of swords so I mean just take a look at this card what does it say to you okay so these are 
um, thoughts stabbing at the mind, unable to escape. Um, you know, and this is just a dream state. These are thoughts that are in your mind. It's a waking nightmare. So you can wake up from this nightmare. Um, you have a choice not to believe those thoughts in your head. And I can totally relate to that. You know, you just have to watch the full moon reading and you'll know, you know, how I was feeling. So let me just quickly grab the book for that and I'll read that for you. Oh, all right, I put them over here. So Eight of Swords. Come on, where are you? There we go. Okay, so guilt is one of the most destructive emotions in which we can get caught. If we have wronged another or gone against our own truth, then of course we feel bad. But to let ourselves be overwhelmed with guilt is to invite a migraine. We end up surrounded by nagging clouds of self-doubt and feelings of worth worthlessness to the point where we cannot see any of the beauty and joy that life has to offer. Isn't that true? We all long to be better people, more loving, more aware, more true to ourselves. But when we punish ourselves for our failures by feeling guilty, we can get locked into a cycle of despair and hopelessness that robs us of all clarity about ourselves in the situation we encounter. You are absolutely okay as you are, and it is absolutely natural to go away from time to time. Just learn from it, move on, and use it as a lesson not to make the same mistake again. Beautiful, perfect. Okay, so three cards. There you go, Seven of Swords. Heart Chakra, oh, and Transformation. So, the Seven of Swords in the past position. We got the seven to the eight, a progression, right? So in the future, we have the death card, which is an end to this feeling. So the seven of swords is a feeling that you can't trust people around you. They're lying to you. Um, you feel like they're betraying you, you know, stabbing you in the back. So there, you know, again, I can relate with this energy, you know, not being able to trust, um, wanting to kind of curl up within myself and hide away right so having the choice whether you're going to believe those thoughts or whether you're going to allow a situation or a person to kind of draw you into a dark state is up to you okay so the heart chakra wow that's absolutely perfect so unconditional love okay and so the heart chakra is in the center of your chest right so it's the middle chakra in your body and so this is the motor that drives consciousness. Okay, so within all this darkness, look at all these clouds and, and fears, you know, clawing at this person. From all that darkness, there's love. And that's exactly <clears throat> when I, what I experienced on the full moon. You know, my heart chakra just exploded open from the love, the support, this community, I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Um, so unconditional love is what helped the feminine to, to find her center, to find her peace, you know, and unconditional love is love for all. There isn't somebody that she loves more. There isn't somebody that she holds her love away from, right? So if somebody's um, hurting you, saying nasty things about you, the best thing to do is to give them love. Love always wins. So the future position is transformation, metamorphosis card. So death of the ego, death of your old identity. Okay, cutting away the things that no longer serve you. So, you know, cleaving this, you know, realizing that it, this is not helping the situation. In fact, it, if anything, it would be making you sick. So. This is a butterfly rising from the chrysalis. Okay, now this is in the future position. So we've got the past, present, and the future. Uh, so this could be the future of the past or the future yet to be. So we, f we feel that, you know, that there's still this transformation occurring on the feminine side. 
and it's being brought into the present. Okay, so the masculine, past position, letting go. Another beautiful card. Uh, both aspects are realizing that they are not in control of the external environment. They are in control of their internal environment, right? So there's a sense that both are just letting go, releasing, um, and going within. Okay, so here we have the Eight of Swords, over here we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so in this image of a lotus leaf in the morning, early morning, we can see in the rippling of the water that one drop has fallen. It is a precious moment and one that is full of poignancy. In surrendering to gravity and slipping off the leaf, the drop loses its uh, previous identity and joins the vastness of the water below. You can imagine that it must have been trembling before it fell, just on the edge of, between the known and the unknowable. To choose this card is a recognition that something is finished, something is completing. Whatever it is, a job, a relationship, a home you have loved, anything that might have helped you to define who you are, it is a time to let go of it, allowing any sadness but not trying to hold on. Something greater is awaiting you. New dimensions are there to be discovered. You are past the point of no return now, and gravity is doing its work. Go with it. It rep represents liberation. Beautiful. So in the Rider Weight deck, this would represent, you know, it would be a person who has left eight cups um, behind. None of this has any value for the masculine anymore. So um, the masculine, you know, has been making some choices that are best for him, right? And he realizes that there's nothing that he can do, you know, to change a situation. So, and so there's this deep acceptance and surrender. Destiny, the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody asked me about this card. Yes, it is. Justin Timberlake, that song, What Goes Around Comes Around. Um, the Four of Wands, nice. And this, the uh, Sacral Chakra. So, Destiny card, wow. Past position. So, uh, this is a completion of a cycle from five to ten years. Um, but Destiny, you know, this is something that is unchangeable, right? You have there's been some conditions that have been set up in order to bring you into a certain place in your, in your life. You can change the route to get there, but ultimately your destiny is, you know, set in stone, basically. Um, so what goes around comes around. This talks about good luck and good fortune, right? So this energy that was set out in the past is now starting to come back around again. And so this represents change or a shift and so this helped him to make the decision to let go, to walk away from something that was emotionally draining. Um, and what is he walking away towards is the Four of Wands. So I use this card in every deck to represent um, a twin flame connection, so confirmation that this energy of release and destiny uh, and shifting has to do with true love. So this card is one of commitment. You know, it's a feeling like, wow, I finally arrived, right? Everything's uh, worked out exactly the way that I had hoped it will, and my future is so beautiful and bright, right? So this could be moving in together, um, getting engaged, buying a home, you know, what have you, getting married. So the future position is the sacral chakra. So this is number two. First three chakras um, are where blockages are most likely to occur. So, um, a blockage in the sacral chakra would represent something that's an emotional, uh, either emotional or something that you, you know, it's your emotions and your senses. Okay, so this card helps you to feel the world around you internally as well as externally. So, usually when it shows up, it means that you're you're feeling like you're lacking. Okay, maybe. Um, you're finding it difficult to express your emotions. Uh, 
you, you might be closing yourself off to relationships. Um, yeah, so this would be, this would need to be cleared in order for, you know, the other chakras to, to open up, right? So this is not a card that we want to see accompanying the Four of Wands, but I understand in order to, to walk away from a situation, you know, these could be two different, obviously they are two different situations, they're almost exactly opposite, right? This is complete fulfillment uh, in union of, you know, true love in the 3D reality, whereas this is just an emotional release, right? You're, you're going on a, a spiritual quest to find yourself. So he's leaving a situation or, or has left a situation because he feels destined to, you know, to come into union with um, his twin flame. However, there's this emotional blockage, right? He's been hurt a lot in the past, and so this needs to be healed. Get in there. All right. So what is in the feminine's present position? Ah, coming together. That's beautiful. So, you know, the feminine in the past, you know, three weeks or even longer has been really closed off has been you know walking away from things so that she can look after herself you know there's a, it's a lot of self-love there and now I see she her heart chakra is open um, and maybe she's ready to let the masculine enter her life you know if he's been trying to reach out to you and you know, you've been closed off to it, so, you know, that energy is kind of shifting now. Um, so, love needs to be shared. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing this card is a sign that you're on a path to discover the nature of this emotion in all its forms of expression. Romantic, familial, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love involves a give and a take between you and a significant other a relative, a friend, an animal, and or spirit. This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished. Like a magnet, you are attracting love into your life. This is a time for harmonious, uh, caring partnerships. Beautiful. So again, we're feeling that unconditional love being brought into the present position. So the feminine has um, put a death to the ego. Whoa. Okay, so the Ace of Wands came first, the 1111 card, and the Nine of Cups. Holy crap, these are awesome cards. Um, so the Ace of Wands, past position. So this is a, a spark of inspiration. So the feminine may have re realized something. Okay, and the wand is, is spirituality. Um, so it comes from, you know, a higher uh, level of consciousness. Um, now, this could also be a creative idea as well, but either way, ace means a gift from the universe. It's a brand new beginning. So this is go like go time, okay? So there was that, you know, moment of clarity with the heart chakra in the darkness, and that's exactly what I feel. You know, light can't exist in, in darkness. Or sorry, darkness can't exist in light. So we have that ace, which is one, okay, and then we got the 1111 card coming together. Wow. So the feminine is really embodying unconditional love, no doubt about it. She's, she's in this space of complete and total acceptance. Um, and she, she's celebrating love. So the Nine of Cups is just that. This is dreams coming true, wish fulfilled, and celebrating. You know, it's just this feeling of so much happiness and connectedness. Um, a lot of laughing and dancing and singing and, you know what I mean, just feeling like you belong, feeling like you're supported and loved, and wow, do I ever feel that way, for sure. Okay, so let me just make these over your schmidgen. Okay, you want to go in there? Fine. 
So what's in the masculine's present position? Slow and steady. So taking it one day at a time. Slow and steady, woo, wins the race. So remember the old cliche, slow and steady wins the race. This time, this is a time for easy movement, unhurried steps, and a steady heart. Trust that taking life at a more leisurely pace will give you greater access to your dreams. Slowing down allows more contact with juicier elements of, of life. So I'll savor them. Okay, so what I was really feeling with this is, you know, see how this person has her hands over her heart. So there's like this protective energy. It's a very healing energy, but it's protective. A lot of green, which is, um, you know, the heart chakra, love, emotions, that kind of thing. So the reason, you know, why he's slowing down is because of that emotional um, disconnect in the past. The moon. Nice. The magician. Nine of swords. Okay, so the moon in the past is the unconscious mind, or the, sorry, the subconscious mind. So this is, you know, things that are kind of hidden beneath the surface. There's, an, there's a question that he's asking. There's an answer that is out there. In order to, to find those an answers, um, he needs to go within, right? And so we see that turning within. Um, and it seems to me like within that solitude, within that darkness, there is this, you know, power that is starting to really take hold in his life. The magician showed up as an overall energy. I remember the last week reading it was a pretty significant card. So present position, he is activating the magician within himself. And the magician is the self-conscious mind. So he desires to manifest a reality, this, you know, uh, Four of Wands. Um, he felt powerless and helpless in the past, but now he's starting to feel more stronger, okay? So this is using your focus, your concentration in order to manifest your reality. So the future position is the Nine of Swords, okay? Now, the Eight of Swords was in the feminine's past position. This is in the f uh, present future. So that energy of being trapped in the mind might be picked up by the masculine. I don't know. Um, the Nine of Swords is stabbing thoughts, nightmares, night terrors. Uh, you know, it's kind of like this energy, but to, more to the extreme. You know, it gets to the point where you can't think of anything else but that, right? So it seems to me like there's this little cycle of um, feeling powerful, getting lost in the darkness, then coming back out. And, you know, this is what might be causing that slowing down. Because it's definitely not an energy worth savoring, for sure. Okay, so what is in the near future for the feminine? Nice. So this card is one of companionship. Um, loyalty. Yeah, okay. So, codependency. So, this is a house of need and being needed in return. There is a strong emphasis, emphasis on loyalty and responsibility. This card here will show where you can most find trustworthy support, yes. Um, so close companionship, faithful friend, and trust. So the near future position. Um, you know, we got that nine of cups there as well, and that's a feeling celebrating, you know, being surrounded by friends and family, right? So um, something will transpire in the near future that'll make the feminine feel, you know, supported and loved by her family and friends. Page of Swords, the Six of Wands, wow, and the Nine of Swords in the future. So Page of Swords, past position. Um, so this is having clarity of thought, right? having ideas. Um, 
this is also communication, right? But it's a very young energy. Um, there's not a lot of confidence or, you know, uh, belief in self in order to fully manis manifest his ideas into the 3D world. So these ideas are just kind of swimming around in there, uh, in his mind, and they're not fully manifested yet. Six of Wands in the present position, this is being seen as a rock star, so people encouraging you. So that support, that family support is definitely um, an encouraging energy, right? So uh, people see you as an example, right? And this is a very successful card, it's acknowledgement, recognition. Future position is the Nine of Swords. Right? So it's the same card that the masculine is getting in the future. So there's a synchronicity there. Um, so again, we got that eight increasing to the nine. So, you know, this is definitely a regressive energy. Especially, you know, when it's coming from such a supportive place. Yeah, but the nine is nearing the completion of that. So maybe there is some cutting communication... Um, there's this thought that you can't quite let go of, even though you feel confident and supported. Um, you keep getting drawn back into that negative thought space. Okay, so what is in the air future with masculine? 34. So this, this I think is... I think, it's some kind of form of communication. Um, you can see the fairies are kind of writing this, these fish. So um, there's that sense of fish out of water. Uh, let's see what it says. Okay, so resources. So this is a, the house of fish is where resources can be drawn upon. Um, any card in this position can be quite positive. So business, money, market, and potential. So I thought it was about communication, I guess not. So there's this feeling of moving forward, right? Um, being uplifted above the emotions. And so resources may come to the masculine. Star, solar plexus, two of swords. So past position, star card. Um, so this is healing from all that, that pain from the past, right? And it's another wish fulfilled card. Um, so this is the worst is over now and there's hope for the future. So whatever this is, um, you know, that he's overcome this major hump in the road and he's riding the wave. The solar plexus chakra has to do with your courage, your strength, your power. Right, so we here we have that blockages is now cleared, so we're up one more level to the, the solar plexus, which is number three, but it's still a blockage. So this chakra is being activated because he needs the courage or the strength in order to make a decision in the future. One that, you know, may have caused some turmoil in the past or, um, you know, the two of swords is having two choices, right? So, because you can't make the choice, you can't move forward, right? So I'm thinking either one is a road to escape that, you know, that pain from the past, or one is a road that goes towards this healing energy. Either way, there's an opportunity for the masculine. He's at a crossroads. And so I hope this, you know, blockage is cleared. And it looks like this opportunity comes at a very healthy moment in his life. He's had time to think about things, contemplate things. Okay, so the final outcome for the feminine, no place like home. Perfect. Oh. So again, that companionship, that friendship, uh, you know, that coming together, that loyal bond is being repeated. And I just wanted to also mention, remember the name of the Divine Masculine reading that I did um, was A Loyal Heart, right? So we got that synchronicity being repeated here. Um, okay, so the Red Wisdom Book. Okay. 
Okay, no price 50. All right, so authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit in, being comfortable in your own skin. Yes, beautiful. So the relationship message, lovers, friends, and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and full of love, and you can be secure in knowing, or sorry, <clears throat> you can be secure in the knowledge that it is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort, and the best aspects of familiarity now. Be home in this relationship. Together you add to the love of the world. Awesome. It's kind of funny, you know, that companion friend, right? There's just this beautiful sense of home, acceptance. But more importantly, authenticity. You're not pretending to be something that you're not. You don't have anything to prove because people accept you for who you are. Three of Swords, a Tower, Ace of Swords. Past position, Three of Swords. So remember in the full moon reading that we did, um, the Three of Swords was showing up, I believe, as an obstacle for the feminine side. So here it's in the past. Okay, so Three of Swords is a broken heart. And it was the heart chakra activation, which is another synchronicity in the reading, opened her up <clears throat> and allowed her to heal. So the uh, tower card in the present position, so this is illusions coming down. It's a very sudden disruption, comes in like a bolt of lightning, tears down anything built on a faulty foundation. Okay, so this three of swords, as a final outcome, the feminine may make a realization or the tower may come in. But the tower is always meant to clear away things that no longer serve you, right? These are things that maybe you were trying to hold on to for such a long time. And so it's a, it's a gift. The Ace of Swords in the future position is the feminine making a decision to release that, to let it go. You know, you can hear this sword kind of smacking down on the ground. That's it. That's final. I've made my decision to cut away this energy. So this could be a karmic relationship that is causing the feminine pain, heartbreak, right? The feminine here is naked. She's got nothing to hide. She stands in her truth. And so that's where I'm getting that karmic energy from. You know, that's it. I'm not putting myself through this anymore. I'm going to be the best person person that I can possibly be and I am supported you know and yeah it's beautiful so the ace of swords is also a very triumphant card and it's a brand new beginning final come for the masculine side ooh so it's the thinker in reverse so number 44 Okay, so, whoa, whoa, geez, why are these cards jumping around like that? It's crazy. Okay, so strategy being analytical, logical. So the protection message. You might be suffering from analysis, paralysis. Thinking has its place, but trying to figure out everything, but trying to figure everything out logically is not going to work right now. Your conclusions will likely be faulty, and you may act upon false assumptions that will get you into a jam. Give your mind a rest. Do something creative, exercise, or meditate. Soon you'll come to your senses, and an aha moment will bring new clarity. Okay, so we got that reflection of an aha moment with the tower and the ace of swords, right? It's an epiphany, but it's a, you know, a life-changing epiphany so we can see that over here as well so you know the masculine is caught at the crossroads indecision right um, continually being drawn back into a negative headspace and so the final out outcome is the masculine releasing himself from that oh wow divine feminine six of wands again 
and the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. So again, we got that reciprocation card being mirrored on, on the feminine side. So the Divine Feminine Past Position. So the masculine has met his Divine Feminine, okay? His reflection, his, his true love, his mirror in the past. And so he's held on to that, that true love energy. Um, he might have, you know, he might have been dealing with a karmic relationship in the past, but, or, you know, maybe even starting a new relationship with somebody, but he knows that there's no connection that is like this. Nobody could replace her, right? So that energy is always there. It's always present, right? So the Six of Wands in the present position, interesting how the Six of Wands is showing up in the present for the near future for the feminine. So there's this energy of encouragement, um, feeling empowered and, and important, um, you know, feeling like you can achieve anything, being acknowledged, right? So I really feel that this energy is kind of connected to the feminine. Maybe he's starting to, to see some things that he's never noticed before. Right, he was always in this this clouded, dark, nasty energy, and he wasn't able to clearly see how how maybe in love he, that he was. I don't know, but ultimately it leads to a sense of reciprocation. So the Six of Pentacles um, is an even exchange of energy flowing between you and another person. So it's having abundance and then being able to help, being able to offer support. So the masculine puts an end, right, to these negative thoughts, nine. This would kind of be like a ten uh, of swords energy. He makes a decision perhaps about something, but um, either way, the thoughts are calmed and he, he feels encouraged and illuminated and open to giving him a of himself with the feminine. So there's a lot of loneliness and solitude here. Right. So what is the feminine bringing into the union? Queen of Pentacles. Nice. So this is somebody who's very grounded and stable, secure with, with herself. Um, financially, she you know, she's very successful and she shares her abundance. So this is, a, you know, um, an energy of giving and receiving as well. But she gives more of herself because she has abundance to share. Right? So she spreads her seeds for all. This could represent an earth energy, but I really feel that this feminine is feeling very successful. Now... This could represent being a mother as well. She's looking after her children while doing a you know, working full time job. But no, I, I just really feel this is a very grounded, self loving, open energy that she's bringing into the union. She's bringing the sense of home, a sense of loyalty, of friendship, of true love. She was tested in the past, but she's not closing herself off to it because her heart may have been broken. She's not walking away. Oh, okay. Well, I don't read reversals on my own deck, so... That was the Hermit, the Five of Wands, and the Chariot. Nice. So, past position, the Hermit. She sought out some solitude. She needed to be by herself in order to um, do some soul-searching. Okay, so this is somebody who detaches from the 3D reality and goes on a spiritual quest. Okay. And so they, they enjoy being by themselves. They're not hiding from anybody, but they're detaching. So, you know, this is seeking philosophical answers, you know, those big questions, right? And remember last week, reading why was a big question. So she's discovered some truths. She's being represented as somebody who's very wise. Present position is the five of wands. So this is overcoming challenges, obstacles. Somebody or something is standing in your way. Uh, or maybe you feel like you're not good enough or big enough. 
or more accomplished enough in order to overcome those obstacles. But what I'm feeling here is you're like, yeah, whatever. I'm the queen of pentacles here. I, I can, you know, nothing's going to hold me back. I'm also the hermit. I can detach. I'm not going to let tiny little people or situations get in my way. And so that's also what the chariot is about in the future. This is a very powerful card. This is exerting your, your power, your will onto the world in order to power your way through those challenges to the end, right? There's nothing that is stopping this energy from reaching its destination, from reaching its goal. Uh, so the chariot is also, you know, it's emotions, right? So you're pursuing the things that make you happy. And again, we see that feeling of, you know, dreams coming true and, and, and having success, um, emotional success as well as, um, you know, financial su success. So she's pursuing the things that make her happy. She's not, um, you know, she's using these as stumbling blocks to get her higher. Okay, so what is in the masculine's present position for how he views a union? Um, or not present position, sorry. This is how he views a union. So perspective, perspective shift. So he's surrendering, letting go of control. So you can see that and an energy of releasing. Right, so this is realizing you have no control over your environment. And so the best thing to do is just take a step back and let it go allow it to transform you can see that letting go and transformation as well um so there are bigger better things out there for you and so this is you know turning the world upside down and seeing um, the opposite of what you've been seeing in the past right so where you saw sadness and suffering now you're you're choosing to see optimistic um, positive energy and this could be self-sacrifice as well there's something that the masculine may need to let go of and it's hard to let go of that because it's been with you for so long three of pentacles five of swords tower so three of pentacles past position this is a firm solid foundation this union is solid and grounded in the 3D reality. And it, this foundation is built on real shit, right? Not like the tower. So this is putting work and effort into manifesting your dreams into the 3D reality, knowing there's still more work to do, but feeling accomplished feeling support. This could also be partnerships. Okay, so what I felt strongly with this is the reason why the masculine is able to surrender and let go is because he knows that he's firmly rooted in this connection. She's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Um, destiny is calling. So the five of swords in the present position, this is conflict, arguing, um, mental noise, right? So even though there's this chaos and negative energy, you know, finger pointing surrounded in his environment. He's still able to see through that. You know, I just feel like this negative vibration is just constantly attacking him. And, and he, he wants the tower. He's, it's like he's welcoming the tower. So the future position both aspects got at the future, I mean the tower in the future, so that there we go, another synchronicity. There's um, the importance of this tower. Um, it's kind of pointing to this home. There's no place like home as a final outcome, right? It's like both aspects are deciding to maybe start again to let the illusions go. Um, but do it together. If there's this, this feeling of arriving at this place together, right? Coming together, home. Um, 
you know, we got that progression in the 3D reality here with resources. There's this momentum building. And he comes out of his, his head space, and then he makes this realization, epiphany. So it's very sudden disruption. And it is, you know, he allows it to come down because the, it, there's this solid foundation that he's able to draw upon strength from. So, in terms of the union, he feels like the hangman, okay, surrendering, letting go of control. And he's saying to the feminine, look, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm, I'm surrounded by chaos and conflict and negative energy, but I'm, I'm letting it go. I'm allowing the tower to transform my, my reality. Okay, so what is at the foundation? Wow, the Ace of Wands. Again, another synchronicity. The Ace of Wands coming in a past position, accompanied with the 11-11 card, the Nine of Cups, dreams and wishes fulfilled. So as a foundation, both aspects felt this spark of inspiration, go like, go time. Okay, and it seems to me that... You know, the feminine was all for it. Yeah, let's do this, let's do this. But then, you know, these negative thoughts tried to come back into her reality, but she just simply cut it away. So both aspects are ready for this new beginning. The masculine, you know, we got that magician energy there that he's ready for that new beginning. He's ready to be open up to it. The decision has already been made. That spark has been lit at the foundation. So one card for the masculine. King of Wands, yeah. And the Knight of Cups. So the King of Wands holding the Ace of Wands in his hands. Very powerful, fiery energy. So this is somebody who's a leader, right? And it's kind of hearkening back to the, um, the eclipse or the full moon in Leo, right? Finding your power, standing in your power. Um, you know, making decisions that are best for the entire community. This is somebody who wants to change the world and people um, trust in his vision and so they support him. Um, he's also, you know, the, the center of the sun, so uh, very charismatic, so he draws people towards him. So this new beginning really made it the masculine feel empowered, feel that, you know, he's fulfilling his spiritual calling, if you want to call it that. He's ready for this new beginning. The feminine is bringing in the Knight of Cups as a foundation. So there's this movement forward towards uh, love, offering your hand in marriage, off, um, you know, offering the masculine commitment. So again, pointing to the sense of loyalty, coming together, you know, in this energy of love is helping the masculine to feel powerful. What is a crowning is the four swords. So I got the wrong image here. Um, so the four swords, I'm actually going to turn it around. <laughs> so I don't want you guys to be staring at that broken, broken heart. So the four swords is, so, you know, it's walking away from a broken heart. And this is done so that not only can you heal your heart, but that you can make decisions. Um, so this is what both aspects want to do. They're, they're, there's this mental bullshit that seems to be coming in. The Nine of Swords in the near future energy, right? That indecisiveness. Um, so you both want to retreat so that you can find solitude and rest. Um, yeah, okay, so one card for the feminine, the moon, and the masculine, Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles, gestation period, you know, um, it is contemplation, making decisions, waiting for the ships to return. So, um, you know, it's that taking it, that slowly energy again. Uh, so he wants the wait to be over. He wants the payoff. Um, he wants to be able to heal his heart. The feminine bringing in the moon. Remember the moon came over in the past position on the masculine side. So. You know, the feminine, the, the moon is a feminine energy. Um, 
but you know there's a sense that she's seeking answers um so she wants to tap into her subconscious mind she wants to be able to discover some truths and yeah so in order to discover th those truths you need to be able to find solitude Okay, so the heart space is Ten of Swords, major ending. Uh, and I'm, I feel that this is good because we both aspects got the nine. We got that feeling of the Ten of Swords up here, you know, a ending to, to negative thoughts once and for all. So this is a feeling of, you know, being stabbed in the back, left for dead, uh, dark night of the soul. So both aspects are feeling this at the heart. Very painful energy. Wow, 11-11, thank you. Wow, crown chakra, thank you, spirit. Whoa, whew, okay, so I was like, what could be worse than that? These endings are happening so that, because the masculine feels the 11-11 card, both of you guys got this in your present position. And so that those negative thoughts, those negative energies that continue to plague the masculine is, is coming to an end because it's a true love connection. The feminine crown chakra. Wow. Again, a sense of being divinely guided to release the negative thoughts, put an end to those thoughts once and for all. Okay, so crown chakra is your direct connection to source, right? So we got this beautiful link of true love here uh, being felt in the 5D. So the feminine is very conscious, very aware of these, this negative energy, and she is not allowing it to deter her anymore, right? That's it, no more. I'm letting myself free of that mental prison, and I feel that that's what the tower is coming for both of them all right so what is the overall energy wow consciousness eight of swords wow beautiful so you know we have that same card up here uh, as a final come in the future coming along with the tower right um, but I, I feel that there's this real conscious awareness behind all of the destruction, right? It's just allowing, you know, just realizing that you are not in control of the external world, you know, um, but also getting to this point of complete consciousness. I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, hold on, I'm still trying to find the page. There it is, okay. Okay, so most of the cards in the in this suit um, is of the mind. Sorry, let me try that again. Most of the cards in this suit of the mind are either cartoon-like or troubled because the influence of the mind in our lives is generally either ridiculous or oppressive. Um, but this card of consciousness shows a vast Buddha figure. He is so expansive. He has gone even beyond the stars and above his head is pure emptiness. He represents the consciousness that is available to all who become a master of the mind and can use it as the servant it is meant to be. When you choose this card, it means that there is a crystal clarity available right now, detached, rooted, in the deep stillness that lies at the, at the core of your being. There is no desire to understand from the perspective of the mind. The understanding you have now is existential, existential whole, in harmony with the pulse of life itself. Accept this great gift and share it. Wow, that sword. 
smashing down crystal clear clarity it washes away it, it clears that mental bullshit right so this energy is felt on both sides right and through that mental clarity that twin flame card keeps showing up three times in the masculine's past the four of wands there the feminine's present and the masculine is present all right so i'm going to pull two final cards from miss and mermaids and i'll read that to you what final messages do you have feminine flying fish <laughs> that's kind of funny right fish out of water flying fish um, masculine Wow Venus with cherubs oh my god so number 11 oh just one minute okay sorry about that all right so swallow your fears about falling and focus on all you can be for soon you'll be sailing through sunlight as fast as you swam in the sea a butterfly winged angelfish glides effortlessly through the air before a pleasantly pastoral scene. The juxtaposition between the sky and sea suggests a feeling of incongruence, yet the fish appear to be content with its surroundings. So the meaning is a fish out of water. Lately you have been asking yourself the same question again and again, what am I doing here? You are feeling out of your element and ill at ease, different faces, different rules and different expectations it can certainly be overwhelming but remember it is important to leave your comfort zone now and then in order to grow you might not fit in it at first but give it time after all you have adapted to new situations in the past it might take patience it might take more effort than you're used to putting forth but you can definitely do it again okay so fish out of water you know what I'm really feeling with that is that that mental bullshit right it's starting to see things clearly again okay the masculine is getting Venus with cherubs my heart is pure I pledge my heart to forge with thee a perfect start a vow of honor and devotion passion deep as any ocean a lasting link binds me to you this is our love and love is true Venus, the classical love goddess, rides her seashell vessel across the sea, accompanied by a trio of winged chips. So the meaning is love is true. The goddess of love is paying you a visit. This can mean only one thing. You have found or will soon find your true love. Happiness, contentment, commitment, and trust. All of the pieces are coming together to create a long-lasting romantic relationship. If you have already found your perfect partner, rejoice knowing what a blessing you have and look forward to attaining a deeper level of passion together. If you are single, keep your senses heightened and pay special attention to those around you. True love awaits, but if you wait too long for the, for the perfect moment, it might just pass you by. Wow. That is, that's beautiful. You know, we, we saw most of that loving energy over here. And so what I feel here is this unconditional love being sent to the masculine. The masculine is feeling it now. He's, there's a sense of reciprocation. All right, so I hope this helped, guys. I love you. Peace.